Hello everyone, this is Mr. PC23 here to bring you a tutorial on how to change your fan speed according to the temperature of your GPU. Alright, first thing you're going to do is download and install MSI Afterburner. And I just have it minimized over here, so I'm going to open it up. What you're going to want to do is open up your settings, fan, enable user defined software automatic fan control. And then what you're going to want to do is set it according to, oh, go away. Set it to uh, what you want. Like over here, I have it at 20% fan speed up until I hit, what, 45 Celsius? Yeah, it's, you just click on it and drag. So you can see down here, on this point over here, you can see the temperature, and then your fan speed is over here. So I have it set at 20% up until like 45, because I don't care if it gets that hot, because I mean, that's really cool for GPU, that's like pretty much idle. Then I have it ramp up to uh, 56. Uh, when it hits 56 Celsius up to 26 and then up here I don't know why there's another one but uh, I have it at 35 percent fan speed when it hits 63 I'll probably lower that right here 31 percent when I hit 60 and then up here and then right here I have it at 46 percent which is really high I mean that alone on my uh, 5870 XFX XSX edition should easily be able to cool this I'm going to bring that down actually when it hits 70. And then I have it up at 100 when it gets to uh, 90% or 90 Celsius, sorry. I don't like running my GPU that hot. There's no reason for it to run that hot. So over here you see that you have your uh, degree in Celsius. I have 38. All right, you're going to hit OK. Oh, uh, sorry, another thing to note is uh, you might want to lower this because it's in milliseconds. I think the default is 10,000 uh, or maybe it's 5,000. Hold on, I'm going to change this because it updates really slowly. So I'm going to put it at, um, we'll say, 500. So every half a second it will change. And then you click on Auto if it's not already on Auto, and then User Defined if it's not already selected. You'll know because of the green. And that should change it according. Hit Apply, and then save it to a profile if you really want to. And I have my video card overclocked, obviously, because default settings are for noobs. And then we'll open up a benchmark like for Mark or a stress testing program. Sorry, I guess this can be used as a benchmark too. I'll do the burn in test just to show you the temperatures, and you will see the temp jump up quite a bit. 48. Oh, sorry, the dialog keeps popping up. It gets really annoying. And notice down here it's at 22 right now, and when it hits a certain temperature, it's going to start going up. See, 23. I like this because it's gradual. It doesn't just like click to 30%, 40%. Like with the uh, Catalyst controller, it's it's just horrible. Like it lets it get to 75 before the fan kicks up to like 30%. I don't know. I just don't want it to run that hot. So yeah, you'll see it slowly climb. It's at 58 Celsius. It's, it's pretty cool in my room. I mean, the ambient temp is probably close to 20 or 18 Celsius. It's at 31. Uh, come on, stress this faster. Come on. Go, Furmark, go. Oh, yeah, this is a free benchmark, uh, benchmark and stress test that you can download. It's called uh, Furmark. I have version 1.9.0, but I think 1.9.1 is out. So you can see it ramping up, and temperature is slowly rising. Uh, obviously, you can do this manually, but this is just the easiest way to do it. Uh, you can just minimize it, and it does it on its own. You don't have to monitor it constantly. So yeah, that's just been a quick little tutorial on how to change your fan speed setting depending upon the temp using uh, MSI Afterburner. Uh, thanks and have a great day.